A really important concept in Python is the while loop. And this one is actually quite simple. All it does is it repeats some code as long as the condition is true. For example, this could look like while true, I want to print an infinite loop. This infinite loop here would run forever unless we manually break the code. Not exactly the most realistic scenario, but something we could be doing. I suppose something slightly more realistic would be something like this. We are starting with x being 0. Then we are checking if x keeps on being smaller than 10. And inside of this while loop, we want to print a certain thing. And we are also going to increase the value of x on this line here. This condition now is only going to run 10 times. And this is how often we are going to print this loop here. And with that, we have some basic theory out of the way. Let's actually have a look at all of this in code. I guess we can start with the examples I just talked about. We always start with the while keyword. Once we have that, we need some kind of Boolean statement. This could either be true or false. Although if you have false, this while loop is not going to run. It will only run if the value is true. If that is the case, in here you can print, I think I called it infinite loop. If I run this now, we get an infinite loop that keeps on running forever. It's not particularly exciting, but it definitely does work. The way you would exit this one is by just pressing escape and it would stop. Although you really want to be careful with while loops, it can not crash your code, but it can make your code not work anymore. Let's say if you have some kind of game and you end up in a while loop that you can't escape from anymore, your game might just stop because your computer is stuck in this while loop and it doesn't continue from it. Let me get rid of this one and let's do something a bit more reasonable instead. I want to create a variable x and by default, this one is going to be zero. And now I want to check while x is smaller than 10, I want to print x. Look at this code. If I run it, what do you think is going to happen? What we get is if I run this, we have a whole bunch of zeros that keep on running forever. And the reason here should be fairly clear. This Boolean condition, x is smaller than 10, is always going to be true because x is always zero and we are never changing it. The consequence being that this print statement is going to run forever. It is never going to stop. To overcome that, we would have to do something like x plus equals one. And now if I run this, we get the values from zero to nine. I suppose what you could also be doing is combine this with an if statement. For example, if x is equal to five, and this has to be indented, really important to tell Python that this if belongs to this while loop here. But once we have that, I want a colon again, and on another level of indentation, I want to print x is five. If I run this now, we get the values from one to nine, and at the value five, we have x is five. And this way, you can repeat code quite easily. That being said, there are two ways to make all of this a bit more complex. Let's talk about it. You can break an entire while loop and you can also skip one iteration of the while loop. And let's do this by example. This is a bit difficult to explain. Here's the example I've shown you earlier. And this one would just print the word loop 10 times on the screen. But what you can do, let's say with one if statement, you could, for example, add the break keyword and just the keyword, no brackets, just break. And if you write this, the entire while loop is going to end whenever x is equal to five. You would never get to this 10 here at the end. Besides that, you also have continue. Continue doesn't break the while loop. Instead, it just skips to the next iteration of the while loop. Meaning in this case, if x is five, this print down here would be skipped over because after continue this line here, we would go back to the while loop and then continue with the next iteration. I think I added a bit more text here. There we go. 
So break ends an entire while loop while continuous skips to the next iteration of the while loop. And that's basically all you have to understand about it. Let's play around with it. I already have an if statement inside of the while loop. And this one I want to use. Let's start with the break keyword. And you can already tell Sublime is coloring it differently, so we know that it has some kind of special functionality. If I run the code now, we get only the numbers from 0 to 4. And this happens because of this break here. It ends the entire while loop as soon as x is 5. The other keyword we have seen is continue. And this one right now is not going to work. And maybe you can figure out why. Let me run it actually. In this case, we are getting all of the numbers and try to think of why we didn't skip over one of them. After we are running continue, we are skipping the rest of the current while loop. In our case though, we don't have anything after continue. Continue is on the last line of this while loop, which means it doesn't actually do anything. We could change this though by putting the print statement after continue. And let me add a bit more white space here. This looks a bit cleaner. If I run this now, we would expect this print statement to be skipped if x is equal 5, meaning we shouldn't see 5 in the output. Let's try it. And indeed, after 4, we skip straight to 6. We do not have 5 because of this continue here. And with that, we have a while loop. Let's do an exercise and then we are done. That is horrible spelling. There we go. What I want you guys to do is to use a while loop to create a list with only even values from 0 to 100. I guess as a tip here, create an empty list first and then from the while loop append more values. I haven't covered yet how to only get even or odd values. Maybe try to do some research. It should be fairly doable. But let's see if you can figure this one out. I guess this one was a slightly more challenging exercise, but let's try it together. I first need some kind of list. Let me call it my list. And this is just empty brackets for an empty list. And there's one more thing that I am going to need, and that is some kind of counter. By default, I want to set this one to zero. This is what we are going to use to control the while loop, like the X we have used up here. Actually, let me comment out this earlier stuff so we are not getting confused. What I want to do with that is run my while loop again with counter is smaller or equal than 100, because this is the maximum number we want to go to, and we are starting from zero, which is the value here. And let's start by adding every single value to the list. For that, we need my list, append, and then the counter. Once we have that, I can just print my list and let's see what we get. And we are getting nothing. The reason here, look at this again. I have actually made the mistake I warned you about earlier. Right now, the code is stuck inside of the while loop. Let me end it with the escape button. This, if this was an actual code example, would have been really bad. The reason here is this counter doesn't increase. It always stays at zero, and as a consequence, this condition will always be true. And as a consequence, we keep on adding the value zero to this list. And besides that, we would do pretty much nothing else. I would spend my entire processing time just adding zeros to a list, which not only would break my code, it would also be a waste of resources. The way around it is I want to increase the value of the counter by one. And now if I run this, we are very quickly getting the values from 0 to 100. Already a pretty good start. But now I don't want every single value, I only want the even ones. Meaning I want 0, 2, 4, 6 and so on. For that, we are going to need an if statement inside of the while loop. All you really need is the percentage sign. And this we want to use with the number 2. If this is 0, we know we are getting an even number. If I run this now, I am getting only the even numbers. This operation here 
if you forgot about it, is the remainder. For example, if the counter was at 3. I think early on I used dots and that's a really good system to explain it. Let's say we have three dots here representing this three. And if we are dividing this number by two, we have one full block. And this would be one unit after the division. And what this percentage sign here gives us is the remainder. So this one here. And if this is any value besides zero, we know we have an odd value. On the same line, if there is any value, so if I use different from zero, we are only getting the odd values. And this is the most common use case for this remainder operation. It's a really easy way to get even or odd values. I guess while we are here, we should also practice skipping one while loop. So let me extend the exercise. I also want you guys to do not add the value 58. For some reason, I really do not like this one. Try to add this one as well. All right, this is turning kind of into extra practice for the if operator, but I suppose that can't hurt. We can approach this in two different ways. We could either add another if statement in here or add an and keyword after the original if condition. I guess let's start with this one. I want to check if my counter has a remainder of zero and my counter is different from 58. This is the number I want to avoid. If I run the code now, I get, let me find the value, we have 54, 56, and then we skip to 60. We do not have 58. This would be one way to add it here. A different approach could be another if statement inside of this counter. I could check in here if counter is different from 58. And then this append here has to be on one more level of indentation to tell Python it belongs to this if statement here. And if I run this now, we are getting the same outcome here with the 58 being skipped. All things considered, while and if work really well together. And all right, with that, we have while loops.